Hi guys, it's time for another Steelbook review and today I'll be reviewing the Who Framed Roger Rabbit 25th Anniversary. Um, it's a Zavi exclusive which is unfortunately sold out, I don't know if they're going to get any back in stock. But uh, it's a very nice Steelbook indeed. Now I heard a lot of horror stories about Zavi, about uh, Steelbooks turning up being badly damaged because of their packaging. Um, thankfully, um, a website, a forum called High Def Ninja uh, there's certain people on there, uh, one guy I'll mention him, his name's Rec, uh, he's a moderator on there and he has some in insider knowledge on steelbooks. He was, and he's a fellow steelbook collector as well, he saw the problems we were getting with Zavi and um, he was able to speak to Zavi and organise for them to uh, improve their packaging, especially for s such a nice steelbook like this. So now we're getting packaging very similar to what Play.com used to give us, like a hard cardboard packaging there and with um, foam to wrap around it which is you know a lot better than what it was and I have to say it's a really really nice steel book and I'm really pleased that it was well protected there's the J card with all the information on that can come off and uh, the steel book itself has got some really nice uh, embossing uh, details on it as you can see uh, there's a uh, Bob Hoskins with Jessica Rabbit and Roger Rabbit and Benny the Cab and that's all in Boston coming out. There's a nice border going around there you see. That's really cool. I really like the back image with Roger Rabbit coming out of the brickwork. Very nice and once again you can see it comes out. Really really colourful and such an attractive looking steelbook. Best Disney steelbook in the UK by far. There's the um, Spine. Uh, inside, we've got some inside artwork too. We've got Jessica Rabbit blowing a kiss, and uh, there's Roger Rabbit in the middle there, and the side there. One disc, but there's a lot of um, stuff on there. Some quite a few extras. Okay, um, it's region free. You'll be pleased to know. Um, the extras on here, you get, a you get digitally restored Roger Rabbit shorts, Tummy Trouble, Roller Coaster Rabbit and Trail Mix Up, uh, Who Made Roger Rabbit which is a mini documentary, audio commentary from Robert Zemeckis and a bunch of other people responsible for the film, deleted scene, before and after, behind the ears the true story of Roger Rabbit, uh, an, an exclusive in-depth behind the scene documentary it says uh, tune stand-ins which uh, feature rehearsals with stand-ins for the tunes and on set Benny the Cab the making of a scene of the film uh, the sub English uh, sorry the uh, audio is DTS 5.1 HD master in English uh, you also get French Dolby Dig Digital 5.1 German Italian and Castilian Spanish uh, subtitles are English, English for the hearing impaired, Danish, Dutch, Finnish, German, Italian, Norwegian, Castilian, Spanish, Swedish and French. And uh, I think it's uh, a film that was made um, that was ahead of its time and um, I think it's you know fun for kids but I think there's, there's loads in there for adults to enjoy as well and uh, I'm hoping when I show it to my little girl, she's going to enjoy it, and uh, um, I'm sure I'm going to enjoy seeing it um, once again in full HD. Now, going on to another steelbook that I picked up recently, which was End of Watch. Unfortunately, didn't fare so well. Um, these ones have been coming out uh, badly damaged, unfortunately, from all the retailers. There seems to be a problem with the chipping around the sides. I was quite lucky that mine uh, didn't get as badly damaged as others. Uh, I did complain to Amazon where I did get a £4 refund off uh, the steel box. I could have returned it and got a full refund, but it's a very good film. So I decided to uh, stick with it. And it is a very nice steel book, and I was actually with acry acrylic paints able to... I had a big scratch going down here, and uh, there was a scratch near his glasses. And uh, with, with paint and everything, I've been able to uh, disguise it. So... Um, and, th and now the steel book's fairly cheap and it still looks good so I'm fairly happy with it it's got nice the spine wasn't damaged which is the it can be a major pain and you really can't disguise any damage like that up but uh, yeah I they need to the steel book uh, 
the company steel book really need to keep an eye on the production of these things because it really wasn't down to Amazon's packaging it was more of a production problem uh, that the, these paints, the paints are scratching off easily or flaking off so they really need to keep an eye on that and the damage was behind a J card as well so you know that's a great shame, good inside artwork as well but yeah that's end of watch good film but uh, and it's a nice steel book but the production the, you know the QC on the production here uh, needs to be uh, sorted out anyway that's my steel book update guys and I'll catch you later.